hi guys that guy that doesn't understand english is back again and today i'll be battling english with you guys so oh, so let me go on with my english so um david as you requested that i should make tutorials or yeah tutorials on handout render machine so as you requested so as i would do and that is what I'm gonna be doing right now. Hanout is a very um wide um store that needs to like uh, um make its section. So I'm going to make Hanout on light right now. And um this is the same we're going to be using. And um I've, uh, this is a camera one, and I've locked down the camera using the new features. A uh, new feature rather. So I've um locked down the camera. So we'll be using a perspective view so that whenever we render uh, i've set the render to the camera one so we have no issue with that and the um, resolution we'll be using is 640 and 480 just because of um rendering time so that we won't be wasting much time doing this so um first thing that you need to know about um about light in hanot rendering uh rendering machine is that the way light beams in hanot is very very different from other render machine like the Microsoft Tway or even material and the lights. So this is very different. So looking at it here, we have two lights here. I have um spot uh, spotlight and point light. So I have point light and spotlight. So the first time I rendered um, the scene and I was having hiju, a very big hiju because I couldn't see anything. Everything went black. So a total black. So this is what I have with um the normal just the normal settings. The lights are on, but still I have this with the another renderer. So um what I noticed is um let's click on this and go to yes, let me click on the spotlight and go to the attribute editor and there we go to the decay type and this is a quadratic and normally in the real life um a light must have the decay type of quadratic so let's change to constant and see what would happen let's go to the decay type for the second um light which is point light and c and let's um render this so this is what i have um using the constant decay type for both lights but still we need um quadratic and that is the realistic way of how light appears in real life so let's change this to quadratic and i think that um this um hanod really needs a very high intensity a very high light intensity and that is what i did so let's increase the intensity Density for the both lights and see what will happen. So let's change this to 5000 density and this um, the point light also. Let's go to the intensity um, and change it to 5000. So let's render again. I'll pause and when it's done, I'll be back. So now this is what I have, and um, as you can see, this has reduced from. Um, the previous one as an other the light is not very high like before and that is it um, you can increase so before you can see anything and under the another renderer um, we have options um, is either you increase the intensity um, or you go to the constant it depends on your own choice but the realistic way of um, rendering with light is using the quadratic and all we need to do is just increase the intensity so, so we're going to be talking about hd high when i'm back so thank you very much for the user